Hello there again, minions. It's Oezy. Welcome to Black Ops 6, and today... We need to talk. We need to, t we need to talk about Black Ops 6. Black Ops 6 feels like a good game, like it feels like it plays decently well. I've just finished going through my first prestige and I just really don't want to keep playing and so we're going to talk about how this game feels mostly good but it's like death by a thousand cuts. All of the things that are wrong with it just make it exhausting to play and I just I just I just don't wanna. So, <laughs> so I'm gonna talk to you about a few things here real quick and then probably jump in a game and just kind of talk through the experience of playing a game or so. A few things I wanted to call out here before we started is, is first, the good things. I feel like the gunplay in Black Ops 6 feels amazing. Feels really good. Probably some of the best gunplay I've seen in a Call of Duty game. It feels solid, significant, the recoil's not ridiculous, the time to kill feels like perfect. Like, even the single kill, single shot kill weapons don't feel unbalanced, doesn't feel like the snipers are overpowered, doesn't feel like the shotguns are too ridiculous. Like, this time to kill and weapon feel, and even the movement, just feels fantastic. The foundation here is unbelievably good. There's lots of weapons, right? There's tons of weapons. They all feel decently viable. Like, I, I, like I said, I just proceeded so everything's still locked. Um, but there are tons of weapons and none of them feel useless. Obviously there are stronger weapons and there are weaker weapons, but there's a whole lot of weapons to use. They each seem to have their own kind of personality, which is good. They're all, you know, like they're all usable. I never really threw a weapon on and just felt like I'm I'm useless. Like definitely some weapons feel like they give you more of an advantage. I'm talking about weird bugs. It's showing the shotgun icon now for my weapon. That was weird. Why this <laughs> Why is it showing the shotgun? <clears throat> uh <laughs> Anyway, so that, lots of weapons. Other good things. Uh, zombies is fun. It's so, in as much as I've played it, which is not a ton, like, but I enjoyed it. It's probably not the kind of thing that would keep me coming back enough to go through like ten levels of prestige, especially with only two maps um, currently. But there's going to be more of those. But where we're at right now, it's just kind of like I played, uh, played a couple of times, and I really enjoyed it. It's very good, you know, mindless fun for for zombies, very hectic and and stuff. So I like that. But what, so why, so why, so why, <laughs> so why do I not want to keep playing it? The maps it suck. The maps straight up suck, in my opinion. It only feels like there's five or six maps. I'm going to go through them here in just a second. There's actually, uh, apparently like, I'll call it 12. Um, but it feels like I'm playing the same five or six maps, although maybe it's just because I don't know, they all feel kind of stupid. I just, I don't like them. They're too small. Uh, it feels like every single map, when I get killed, I can respawn instantly. And I then they're small enough that I can pretty much always throw a frag grenade to where I died as soon as I spawn, which I do all the time, where it's like, oh, oh, someone killed me. I'll respawn and I'll throw a frag back to where I was because there's about a one in 10 chance that I'll kill someone in that area because I was just there. Uh, it's, it's, it's hectic. The spawn trap, the, the spawn, there's spawn trapping, which is brutal in objective modes, especially to the point where on my find a match, right? I, my go-tos for the last couple of Call of Duties have really been like, uh, not headquarters, but hard point, uh, team deathmatch. I like kill order in this game. It's a nice new mode domination, hard point, kill confirmed. I've had to turn off hardpoint and domination because the spawns and the spawn trapping on objective modes is brutal. It happens like every game, um, especially when you mix in like the EOMM shit and it just makes them like, there's no, it's no fun, especially with EOMM being so powerful and for the quick version, for those of you who don't keep track, 
a lot of people call it SBMM. It's really EOMMM. They're not they're not necessarily trying to match you with people that are of an equal skill level, although that's part of it. What they're trying to do is control how many games you win and lose so that you alternate between winning and losing. So when you lose, especially in an objective game mode, even in a kill-based game mode, you can feel like most of the time it's not because of you, right? Like when the game wants you to lose, it will stack the other team with good players and it'll put you with a bunch of idiots. And when the game wants you to win, it will stack you with a good team and sometimes it'll put you against a bunch of idiots. If you're a decent player, that latter situation doesn't happen very often, right? I'm, I don't get put in games where, the, where I'm put up against a team that I can just roll on super easy because in those situations, it just, I don't know, that just doesn't come up for me very often. More often than not, the game is trying to make me lose to, to maintain that balance. And so I'm put in games with useless sacks of garbage. I actually enjoy the games when I when the game decides, hey, you're going to win. It doesn't feel very, very um, satisfying <laughs> when I feel like, oh, good, the game decided that I'm going to win one. So it put me in here with a bunch of retards and I just get to stomp on them for the next five minutes. That's fun, but it's not satisfying. So the whole idea of win-loss in this game out the window it doesn't matter you have no impact right the game decides when you win and lose your your input into that is essentially zero um and because of that combined with those other things it just kind of makes everything feel unsatisfying <laughs> so uh let's jump just real quick as i was talking about it let's jump into look at the maps um because i was looking through this and i was surprising myself right before i started recording this video it's a private match. Why does it take so long to activate the game setup? Oh yeah, the UI bugs as well. In fact, if I go back here, uh, I, even though I did prestige, I am not a level one. I'm at like a level six and the daily challenges haven't populated. There's a bug in this game that every time you start it for the first time, it doesn't reload your levels or the daily challenges until after you like complete or play your first match. That's a weird stupid bug especially since when i'm playing my first game i would like to be trying to attempt to complete the daily challenges and i don't even know what they are <laughs> during my first match but oh well um i backed out so it's gonna make it reset up. okay so let's go to maps let's go all the way over babylon hate it way too small basically shipment spawn traps are awful derelict is decent right it's still smaller than i think it needs to be again i can frag wherever i died all the time the lines of sight aren't great um but it's okay this one is one of the more enjoyable ones low town is trash it's a maze and it's unbalanced it feels like if you spawn on the lower bridge side which seems to be where i always end up it just feels like the other side has a huge advantage locking down those middle buildings it's just garbage the water is i don't know uh, Nuketown is Nuketown, although it's not in the normal rotation yet, um, at least from what I've seen. Again, I haven't been playing it a ton. Payback is okay. Again, seems like it's one of the bigger maps, but it's still really small. It, it, it feels like a cluster, you know, and again, a lot of these, when I think about them, I'm like, well, it, the map seems okay, but I keep getting pushed into spawn traps, right? Like these, this seems to happen a lot. Protocol is probably the biggest map, maybe combined with red card. Um, but the layout of it is pretty shit. Again, there's a bunch of power positions for the buildings overlooking that just make it not super satisfying. It, the lines of sight can be too wide open. A common issue across all these maps, other than being mostly too small, is also that the lines of sight are wide open in most areas. So there's only a very, 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 very tiny number of routes you can take through any map that are reasonably tactical or reasonably safe. 90% of the map, if you move into any of those areas, you're going to get shot from four different directions, especially with the spawns being not great. Um, red card is one of my favorites. Uh, it actually feels pretty good. It's a, and again, a decently sized map. This is one of the ones where when I die, it's unlikely I can immediately frag where I died. Um, Rewind is uh, also one of my favorites. I do enjoy it. It feels like a... It's not really three lanes. It's mostly two lanes with just that quickie shop on the main street but it seems to play pretty well in most modes um there's you know decent cover moving through a lot of those routes scud i don't like at all it's it feels really unbalanced to one side to the to the radar side um 
Skyline is a little too hectic. It's not awful, but eh. Subsonic is tiny and shit because it's just an absolute cluster. Vault is probably one of my favorite maps too, but it occurred to me when I came in here, I forgot Vault existed because I literally haven't played it probably since the first week of the game. Did they take it out of the rotation or have I just been really unlucky? I haven't seen Vault probably since the first week of the game. Um, Vorkuta is pretty trash. Like, it's just not a good map. There's, it feels like there's only three choke points in, in the whole map, and it... I don't know. I don't like it. And I didn't even know Warhead existed, so this must be Nuketown after Nuketown's gone off. I've never played on that. Um, and even Nuketown. In general, I don't dislike Nuketown in other games. It's small, you know, like kind of like Shipment. Better than Shipment. Generally, it plays very well. In this game, it was insufferably bad. Insufferably bad. I, I Did I even post that video yet? I, I recorded a video playing on it. Um, <laughs> it may have been so painful that I, I haven't even edited it and posted it, so I'll probably post this before that. But it was because of the spawns and whatever it is about the game right now, the spawns or whatever, it felt awful. It felt like the worst implementation of Nuketown I've played yet. And it didn't make any sense to me why, because like I said, the gunplay in this feels really good, the movement feels really good. I think what I've narrowed it down to for, for Nuketown and most of these, they need, at minimum, they need to tweak the spawns in general, but they need a spawn delay. The fact that you die and you can instantly spawn within less than a second means that it feels like there's this constant, relentless churn. I think, you know, I don't think that was any different than, than like Modern Warfare 3, but because those maps were bigger, it felt like you spawned and it took a while before that. Like, I literally, all the time, will kill someone, get killed, respawn, and that same person will probably kill me two or three times. Like, I'll spawn so close to them that they can literally kill me, run around a corner, kill me again, run three seconds, kill me again, or I'll kill someone, and then I'll turn a corner, and they're there again. And I'll either kill them again or they'll kill me. Like, it feels like, boom, 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 hey, I killed your mom 69 and then i turned the corner and you were killed by your mom 69 like what the fuck just what so yeah it just and it makes it feel so bad <laughs> and like i don't even want to keep playing like i said i've i prestige so let's go into what prestige wait no we want to go to barracks right no barracks stats okay so there's the overall combat record so does it, where's my prestige stats? Um, yeah, win-loss ratio doesn't matter because you don't control that. You've got no input on it. Um, so yeah, I've played so far just under 17 hours, which honestly, I, I'm kind of surprised I've played that much. <laughs> so when I prestige, it was probably around 14 hours or something like that. Um, has it not gotten to the point where it's unlocked? I think it breaks down to the individual prestiges when you get to point. Maybe I haven't gotten far enough in this prestige for it to for it to do that. So yeah. Oh, and it could also be because it's showing me as level one, even though I'm like a level five. So this could be the bug. Yeah, because it's showing it's showing I'm not even in prestige one, which I definitely am. <laughs> whatever, whatever game. Uh, what was I going to show you there? Just oh, that I was that I prestige. So yeah, that's the amount of time I played. Um, anything else? What was I going to talk about? Oh yeah, the the weapon leveling feels really slow. I'm in my first prestige. I'd show you, but I can't because it hasn't. <laughs> it's not. It's showing all my weapons as level one too. Um, but I've feel. I think I only. I use probably less than half of all the weapons in the game. There's a lot of weapons. I feel like I used less than half of them in my first prestige. I went all the way through the first prestige. I didn't max level a single weapon, right? I didn't, and, it's, and I didn't use every weapon. So I used a small, a relatively small number of weapons a lot. I used the XM4 a decent amount. Um, the C9 was the only SMG I really used. Uh, the, the Marine SP shotgun. Um, I used the, not the SWAT 5. I used the AEK marksman rifle most of the first prestige. The XMG is my LMG, the, uh, yeah, the frost line is the sniper I use for most of it. And I didn't max out any of them. I'm going to, it'll probably be the, the fourth prestige before I've m even max leveled a significant number of these weapons, which just feels ridiculously slow. And when you unlock new 
things for him. I can try, oh, really? Okay. When you unlock new things for him, there's no like marker telling you what's new. And it, and you know, unless you really pay close attention at the post game screen when you unlock something, you don't really know. So if, whenever I unlock it, like level this up, I'm like, oh, did I unlock anything new? And I have to like go through every single set of attachments to like see if I unlock something new and then see if it's better. It just feels tedious. So those are kind of my, my, my base level grimes. <laughs> For the game so far, yeah. So, so what I want to do now, since I've spent that time bitching, if you guys are still stuck around, is have some more thoughts. But jump in, and we'll just kind of jump into a couple of games and share that experience. Matter of fact, I'll jump jump into a couple of objective games to kind of drive the the point home uh, on those as well. But all right, so let's you know what? Let's do domination. Again, I'm a relative, you know, I'm still, I'm like a level 5 or level 6, even though it doesn't show it. So I don't have, you know, most of the perks available. Oh, that was another thing I was going to talk about. The perk system seems, like, I don't hate it, but the specialty perks, the perk bonus you get, those are, are so good that it feels like if I'm not getting the perk bonus it feels like i'm missing out on something right which really limits the perks i can use oh good scud um oh and i'm starting in progress cool but uh yeah so i don't know it i don't hate it but again it feels very limiting um let's go ahead and use my so i i use I kept the AS Val as my permanent unlock for this first prestige because it was a—it's the last weapon you unlock uh, at at level 55, and I was enjoying using it, and I didn't want to immediately lose it and have to come back to it. So, Are you out here? Yeah, bad shots. Oh, I don't have my. <laughs> I'm used to having stims. <laughs> uh, stims, absolutely, uh, I feel like kind of a must have. I'm gonna see if I can blow up that with that frag. Missed. <laughs> yeah, I feel like stims are kind of a must have piece of equipment. I'm not gonna unlock those to level 30. For Prestige 2, if I get to Prestige 2, uh, my second permanent unlock is definitely gonna be the stim. Oh, they're up top. I can't stay there. There's too many angles for them to come in. They're just gonna mob me. Even coming up here is gonna get me killed. There's, like I said, there's just no routes uh, that you can really... There's, like, very, very few... Nope, that's not a stim. There's very, very few routes you can actually use in this game. Because of how crazy the lines of sight are. I also am still not... Even though you get a lot more... Kit, quote, kills, eliminations. I don't like the fact that eliminations, like, assists and kills are treated as the same thing. Because it's, like... Near impossible to know when you actually, like, are getting a decent amount of kills. It's hard enough to push up to that thing, but they have that entire back area behind there where they can sit back and and kind of like spawn watch the entire side here where you try to push up. So if there's people on the satellite dish and you want to try and push and get them off, if someone's sitting at the back of their spawn, then you're fucked anyway. <laughs> this is what I mean by this map feels unbalanced. Like fighting off of this side of the map this is, the game feels exhausting because for most of these maps, you are just tr you're fighting the map more than the enemy, right? Like how do I, how do we get off of the shit side of the map? We have to fight our way through the fact that they have all the cover in the world on their side of the map, right? They've got this hill. They've got five lines. If I try to push in there, that's not a kill. They're up top, so they can drop down on me from every direction. If I come up here to flank, then the guys at the back of their spawn will kill me. Luckily, that artillery strike is obstructing their view right now. Right? But, like... Just that position, like, I can't... We can't take it. Like, you have to basically push back into the deepest back part of the spawn to even flip it. 
Which is almost impossible because they spawn back in buildings with cover. It's such, like, most of the maps are like this where they're just fucking broken. And right now, they probably actually are feeling spawn trapped. Right? Because they probably maybe want to get out of this corner, but they can't. If you get a flank on, I've... I, it's hard to kind of consciously put your, uh, you know, finger on it. But because recon is such a common perk bonus to have, and it's got high alert, there are so many times you'll get a good flank on, and people will inexplicably turn around and look at you, and you're just kind of like, what the hell? Why did they just immediately know I was there? And it's because as soon as you look at them, uh, the game says, hey, turn around, shoot the guy. You can see from all the bullets flying around that really the the stem is because honestly the tactical grenades like the stuns and flashes are just almost useless compared to like what you can do with with the stem and again those thing when you put things in the game that make it to where using the variety of things in the game puts you at a disadvantage so like when things are just obviously the best thing perk equipment weapon whatever it really makes the game feel like it has less variety. It makes it feel more boring. Like, same thing with these maps. The maps are so unbalanced for the most part and shitty that every time you play the map, it feels the same thing. It's like, oh, we're trying, we're trying to fight our way over there and they're stuck and they are using all the cover. And I've complained about this. I think this happened a lot more in like Modern Warfare 2, where I said it feels like I'm being put in timeout by the game. When you spawn in like literally the same 10 square feet of the map every single time you die, it's not fun. It just feels like, oh, I ran up, I shot at someone, I got a couple kills, I got a kill, I'm gonna spawn in that same fucking corner right here, right? So for the next, the rest of this match, basically, I'm gonna run up here, try to throw a grenade towards where they are defending, Try and get a kill. When I get killed, it's gonna sit me back in my corner. Right, okay, kill the guy, try to push up. Try to get a spawn flip, maybe. But they've got all the cover in the world over here. Guy up there? Where? Body drop. Back on the requesting COV. Take it how are you not dead? I stopped shooting. I was sure you were dead. What? How is he still not dead? <laughs> what the fuck? That is just bad shots for me. Bullet spam. He must have a stim too, because there's no way he's re-healing that much health immediately. Oh, we, we, we spawn flipped! I was just about to say, hey look, we're gonna push and we're not gonna- But we got a spawn flip. But now it's the same thing from the other side. Now we're just defending this side. It just, it feels like there's no flow. It just feels like you get stuck. Oh, wait! Did he spawn back there? It did! So it flipped the spawn- Wait, what? Huh? I don't fucking know. One more. <laughs> I, like, I just... It, every experience feels like this to where I just- I don't want to play the game. It just feels exhausting. I'm not sure if it really came across too, like how coked up and sweaty everyone that I play against in this game is. And it's just, yeah, it's just, <laughs> exa it's exhausting. It, is, it feels like it should be fun, but then I'm like, oh, do I want to play some Black Ops? And I'm kind of like, no, I really, I really fucking don't. Okay, so there it's, 
Oh, look, rank up. But now... Wait, did the daily challenges still not come back? But now it's showing that I'm level 6, at least. The daily challenges still haven't loaded in. I don't know if I unlocked something new for this. I don't use lasers. Oh, did I unlock a maybe a camo? Yeah, I was have to come in here and check. Because even though here it says... Well, it says this is new even though I'm currently using it. So it's still not new, but... I mean, it just... Uh, here, let's back out. And let's do one that is in one of my game modes I can actually stand. So this is my... This is my filter for this. If you guys remember any of my videos, I didn't do many for Cold War. Free for All was pretty much the only game mode in Cold War that I could stand uh, playing because of the way that game was set up. Luckily, that's not the case in this game, but yeah. The objective-based modes are just... Uh, they're just so bad. Vorkuta, another... It's just not... These maps are just not good. I don't know. Obviously, it's not loading in any of the people in this game. And it just feels like it could be such... You put this gunplay... Because, well, honestly, the gunplay in Modern Warfare 3 is is fantastic as well. Although, I, honestly, I think this is slightly better. Um, you put this in the Modern Warfare 3 maps, which I loved, like, every single Modern Warfare 3 map. Uh, at least ones that were released. Some of them, you know, the Modern Warfare 2 remake maps were, you know, I only enjoyed them as much as I did kind of when they were in originally Modern Warfare 2. But... Oh, okay. Oh. Okay. I'm not exactly sure what that was. This is a bad route because it's so easy to get killed when you're climbing up that ladder. So they're all gonna be kind of back there, maybe. This is a bad route. Hey, come, hey, hey, come back. Oh, I don't want to be here. They're gonna be right above me. Oh god! Up, 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 up! I need my stim. Oh god! I can't, I can't get behind that. <laughs> Wait, now I spawned up here? This, see what I mean about like. Most of my point about I can frag where I died is partly because of how small the maps are, but also because I do often spawn right near where I died. Like, what? Every angle! Every fucking angle! What the fuck am I supposed to do? Oh, God! He's, and the, oh, the head glitches in this game are ridiculous. There's so many of them, and they're so powerful. Is he coming? Okay. See, look, he's even got, he's still got cover back there. Oh, he came. Did I not get that? Oh, shit! Wait, that's an enemy? How the fuck did you get over here? See how fucking coked up I have to be just to play this game? I'm like... You gotta be like fucking turned up to 11. Just to... Just to move around. This is a bad route because there's like so many angles here. Oh, oh is this little trap that got me. It's going away. Is that a guy? What the fuck? I'm like, am I hearing enemy footsteps? And then he spawns on me. I mean, that guy like ran around, then it spawned an enemy around on my body. What? Oh my god, this game. So this is almost sometimes the opposite problem in the in the non-objective based game modes is the spawns are almost criminally random. Why? Why are you there? Oh, that's right, because even when I spawn on the other side of the map, you're only three seconds away from the other team. All the time. This guy just sitting up in this window, huh? And there's gonna be someone in that pipe, too. Oh, 
Oh, God. Oh, God. And I can't... There's just... And there's too many angles from that route, so really it's this way, but you gotta make sure that they're not coming from here. And then this guy's probably still fucking laying down in here. Ugh. Oh. Hey teammate, you wanna not be brain dead? And you wanna go in there and get that guy that just who literally shot me five feet from where you're standing? There's two of them! Oh, that's right, I still don't have stims. Is that an enemy watchdog helo? Whatever. They really nerfed the LMG, the kill streak damp. I, I don't have a stim. I need to stop stunning myself. It's really hard to shoot down these kill streaks, like the chopper gunners, especially. Alright. How is that? Was that just a friendly? This game is shitty. I don't know another way to describe it. It's so bad. Like all, and again, it's not any single thing. It's the combination of everything. It's the, it's the shitty team balance with the EOMM. It's the bad spawns and the quick spawns. It's like how small the maps are. You respawn instantly. The spawns aren't good and the maps are super small, so you're just constantly being just shot from 87 different directions. It feels like a game that was designed for an ADD generation of just like, I don't care about trying to be tactical or smart. I just want to spawn, fire my gun, die, and do it again over and over and over again. Hey, look, the daily challenge is finally loaded, and I haven't completed any of them because I didn't know what they were. Minions, I don't know what to tell you. I mean, I'm going to keep checking back as, you know, season one's about to start and they're going to do, you know, add maps. Hopefully there's going to be a good content plan for this, but this is a problem Modern Warfare 2 had where it got to the point with all the DLC maps that all of the maps that they added were so fucking horrible that the number of maps I actually enjoyed playing was so small, it wasn't worth playing the game at all. Right? Like, there's no way to... You know, if you could, like, filter game modes, not just game modes, but maps, <laughs> and say, I don't want to play on your shitty maps, then, you know, I'd, I'd probably have a much better time, but... Minions, I don't, I just, I don't know. <laughs> what do you guys think? If you guys enjoyed me bitching about Black Ops 6, you guys can leave me a like. If you think that I'm way off and this is just so much fun, I, I'm, I'm stunned at how quickly the new game shine wore off. Like, 17 hours? Right? Is this gonna show? So now it shows my prestige stats, right? Like, 30 minutes into the new prestige, 17 hours total, 128 games, and I'm sick of it. Like, it feels exhausting. Like, I wouldn't have felt like I was gonna get to that point that soon. Even in Modern Warfare 2, it took, I feel like it took quite a bit longer before I really got sick of it, and almost because they had to add a bunch of maps that were just so bad. Like Black Gold or whatever, like the, the nighttime laser one, and I, like... I, I'm, I'm amazed at how good the gameplay in this feels, and how much I just don't want to keep playing it. Subscribe if you want more Weezy. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next one.